Hi, my name is Brian Ierson. I'm one of the trainers at the Computer Workshop. And in today's tutorial, we're going to go over how you can extract parts of a PDF using Acrobat Pro. Now, as you can see, I have an open Acrobat PDF document in front of me. It's going to have some text in here. It's going to also have a table. Now, with the new Acrobat we can simply select segments of the document that we want to extract out of this. I don't have to do a full save as other. I simply need to select my text, right click on that selected text and choose export selection as. When this opens, I am going to be prompted to save this as a new document. Clicking the Save As dropdown allows us to go ahead and set the type of document that we would like this to be, be it Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Now, I'm going to just choose Word since this is text, and you can title this whatever you would like. I'm just going to call this Extract 1, and I'll save it to the desktop. You may be prompted to open this in Word. And if you choose to do so, you will see your Word document as you have extracted it. Another common thing that we would like to be able to extract out of our PDFs would be a table. And we would like that to potentially open not just in Word, but to actually put it into Excel and therefore be able to harness Excel's power to analyze the data in this table. Still in Acrobat, I'm going to just grab this table by drawing a selection box that encompasses all of the data, right clicking anywhere in that selected block, and choosing Export Selection As. Here again, you will see that it wants to extract this and put it into Word, but we will simply click the Save As Type drop down and change that to an Excel workbook and save it where we want, name it, and then simply tap save. Just as when we were opening up the Word document, just as when we were extracting the Word content, just as we were, just like before, when extracting text into Word, we get prompted that the application is trying to open it. So in other words, here I'm being notified that the system wants to open this using Excel. Do I want to continue? I will simply tap yes. And in a moment's time, you will see that that data is now in Excel and you can start to utilize it in any way that you need. And that finishes today's tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this and found it useful. If you did, Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on our social media platforms. You can find us also online at www.tcworkshop.com. And there you can find out about courses that we have that are coming up and any other information that you'd like to know about the Computer Workshop. Well, that's it for now. So until next time, take care.